Soon the first factories will emerge from the ground, this iconic statement was made by Ibrahim Traoré and it is fitting for a country that is at the point of being great again. Over and over and over again, Traoré continues to wow our minds. Recall that at the beginning of his presidency, Traoré said that security was his top priority, but in just a short period of his stay as president, he has proven that he is not only interested in security but also in the development of Burkina Faso. Over the past months, Traoré has gone out to seek diplomatic relations with countries that would help in the development of Burkina Faso. One such country is Russia, where Traoré asked President Vladimir Putin for help in the construction of a nuclear power plant in Burkina Faso, which would help address the issue of electricity in the country and even neighboring countries. Although no concrete deal was made, the president didn't allow that to stop him. With unwavering determination, President Traoré has undertaken ambitious projects that will address not just the electricity problem but also other socio-economic issues in the country. So, what are these mega-projects? Modernization of roads Prior to Traoré's presidency, if you had visited Burkina Faso, you would have observed that the roads were narrow, unsafe, and degraded. But, thanks to Ibrahim Traoré, this reality has changed drastically. In just nine months, over 70 kilometers of roads have been constructed, and others are currently under construction. These roads will facilitate transportation along with bridges to ease river crossings, and as a result, traders can now transport their goods more easily and safely. The people living in the regions where the new roads were constructed have expressed their gratitude to the president. I am very moved, the entire population is very satisfied with President Traore, who remembers us, stated a Burkinabi citizen. Community Entrepreneurship Program Over the years, economic progress has been hindered in Burkina Faso due to the terrorism crisis. Traore has decided to turn this around by launching a community entrepreneurship program that would stimulate the country's inclusive development. The program aims to facilitate the creation of community businesses specializing in the production, processing, and marketing of local products in sectors like agriculture, mining, and industry. It will also promote the creation of job opportunities for young people. The project is led by the Community Entrepreneurship Promotion Agency APEC with the technical supervision of the cooperative company Scoopsia. APEC intends to launch the project with the development of tomato paste manufacturer Safato, which will include two new processing plants and the establishment of a semi-mechanized gold mining firm with activities on three sites. Other projects include an agricultural mechanization and intensification program that will create 1 million direct jobs in two years and a central purchasing office for fresh produce. Since its launch on June 12, 2023, the Community Entrepreneurship Subscription Operation has recorded to date 38,500 subscribers for 1,900,000,000 CFA francs collected, and the number of subscribers per day is estimated at 600 Burkinabi citizens. Agricultural Program for the Widows of the Defense and Security Forces FDS. During a meeting held with President Traoré, his Council of Ministers highlighted a fabulous decision that is to be implemented to facilitate agriculture. This project involves the training of widows of the Defense and Security Forces FDS, and supply convoy drivers who fell on the battlefield in soilless cultivation and irrigation. This means that these women will be able to take charge of their own affairs regardless of the fact that their breadwinners are no more, and it will also aid in boosting agricultural production in Burkina Faso. This program highlights the fact that Traore, like Thomas Sankara, cares for women. Africa Mini Grids Program Earlier in February 2023, Burkina Faso launched the Africa Mini Grid Program, which will ensure access to energy for rural communities. So, while Russia has not made any concrete efforts to help in the construction of a nuclear power plant, this Africa Mini Grid program can help to solve the problem of electrification in Burkina Faso. The project will be active in seven municipalities across seven regions, and with the help of this program, isolated communities should be able to power their homes, schools, and small businesses with energy. 
By boosting livelihoods and providing income-generating activities, the project will also help the government's COVID-19 recovery efforts and increase the resilience of vulnerable communities. Burkina Faso's National M project, which will last 48 months from February 2023 to January 2027 and cost more than 1 billion CFA francs, is supported by the GEF, UNDP, and the Burkina Faso government. Water, Sanitation, and Agricultural Program The African Development Bank recently signed a loan and grant agreement with Burkina Faso's Minister of Economy, Finance, and Perspective, Abubika Nekonobo. This financial agreement of about 114.27 billion CFA francs will support six projects in Burkina Faso, notably in the water, sanitation, and agriculture sectors. Of this funding, 30.196 billion CFA will be used to implement three water and sanitation projects in Burkina Faso. The project will last five years and will include the installation of 30 drinking water delivery systems, which will include 100 huge boreholes, 200 standalone water points, and 160 wash houses. The government of Burkina Faso also intends to modernize 30 current water supply facilities. In order to prevent open defecation in Burkina Faso, 10,000 family latrines and 500 blocks of public latrines will be built. Settlement of internally displaced persons The terror problem in Burkina Faso has forced thousands of people to flee their homes and livelihoods. Minister Nandi Sam Slash Diallo, who is in charge of Solidarity, Humanitarian Action, National Reconciliation, Gender, and Family, has reported that a substantial number of households have returned to their homes after being displaced by terrorist activities. Diallo stressed that the administration is actively handling the repatriation of IDPs. The government intends to analyze the returnees' needs, which include arable land, schools, water points, and other amenities. In the short term, there are plans to progressively restore administrative services in the return areas, allowing people to return to normal life. Captain Ibrahim Trawaria's accomplishments in road and other infrastructure upgrades are a compelling monument to his dedication to Burkina Faso's progress. President Traoré has laid the groundwork for a bright future with these achievements. What are your thoughts? Do leave your comment down below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.